The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN just after 9 a.m. Eastern Time Wednesday morning. We got about 24 minutes to go until the start of trading. You have markets slightly in the positive, reclaiming some of the losses of yesterday. You make it to a low in the S&Ps of 4305. Just prior to the close, you catch a little bit of a lift in the final 20 or 30 minutes of trading. And just like that, we're positive by about 15 points. But as our man Basil Chapman says, the day is young. Uh, opening bell, 22 minutes away. We have the NASDAQ 100 up a bit, 14,756. You're positive by 40 points or about three tenths percent of the green. The Dow up a similar three tenths percent, just below 34,000 right now, 33,983. You jump over to the Russell, up by 10 points. That's a solid six tenths percent of the positive. Crude, how about it, man? You talk about a low to a high yesterday of more than $4. Check out the acceleration from 88.19 up to 92.52 we're just off that high crude up and even two percent this morning gold contract backing off 1906 is the number 1908 right now 1906 though you talk about it man this dollar there you go right yesterday in the program we're talking about 106 this morning we're almost talking about 106.50 it's just not stopping right now in terms of dollar strength regardless of the fact that we catch a little bit of a lift in terms of the price of yields so what do you got right now we're talking about as i pull it up come on cooperate where's our yields there we go and one more the 10 year sitting right at 4.5 percent so what's interesting here is you got the 10 year sitting right where we were you know put this thing on a daily man we're right where we were in terms of Going back to what? Yeah, there's, let's put it back on a 10 day. Yeah, there's Wednesday Fed day, and that was what I wanted to get to, basically right where we were that evening. So the tenure is sitting where we were last Wednesday evening, okay? Meanwhile, look at the dollar, right? Dollar Wednesday evening was at 105.60. We are a full point higher in the dollar, so uh, the dollar maybe recalibrating in terms of where we are in yields now what's so cool about today we're talking about dollars we're talking about yields we are going to be talking to our man teddy kegstack coming up at 40 past the hour you can always check out teddy's outstanding newsletter the forex uh the tiger forex report out every monday with new issues and updates when warranted but what we're going to talk about today when we talk to teddy is he's got a webinar coming up talking about calendar spreads 4 p.m eastern time today folks it's an hour-long webinar I can't wait for that webinar myself. I've been talking about, I love options, man. Whether you trade options or not, you should understand them because they give you so much information about how the market is pricing, how equities are gonna move, implied volatility, premium, time value, all that stuff. And calendar spreads are one of the more advanced strategies that I am looking forward to an hour long class with Teddy on um, because it's just the nuances of, of rolling some of that strategy a little bit more complicated than a simple call spread or a put spread but if you're in the market at all you should understand them folks and uh teddy's going to be doing that at four o'clock so we'll talk to teddy at 40 past the hour today though we'll talk a little bit of dollar we'll talk a little bit of crude we'll talk a little bit of yields as we always do as this market catches a little bit of a bid up about 20 points at 43.33 we jump over to the vix this morning a little bit of a reprieve but boy i was talking about on the program yesterday all things considered, you back things up, right? I was talking about a five-year weekly, saying, hey, there's the COVID spike. Hopefully, we never see an 85 VIX in our lifetimes again. We probably will, okay? Not sure why, unfortunately, but volatility rears its head occasionally. 85 is something else, though, right? Uh, the point being, even in the year 2021, when the market was relentlessly higher, look at these spikes in the VIX. 37, 32, 29, 25, 25, 28, 35. Market sells off. We got similar spikes, okay? This year, we're only at an 18, folks. Yeah, we're back up to where we were in August. It is a different world. The Fed is not 
crushing markets with interest rates as they had interest rate hikes I should say as they had but they are still crushing the markets with some interest rates that might be higher for longer and uh, strong dollar weighing on that number as well right dollar index highs of the year you're back to where we were almost a year ago check it out right November 7th you were back and down to about 107 we're at 106 right now 45 well off the highs of 115 but we will see where we go from there as we're uh, just over a month out from the Fed and we're coming into an earnings season that begins next month as well. All right, where do we kick things off? Well, the headline from Bloomberg, global stocks sell off pauses as the VIX signals calm. Uh, you know what? We're going to start it off with China, though. How about it, man? These Chinese billionaires, I mean, I know you got allegiance to your country, etc. Whether it's Jack Ma, whether it's this gentleman, can't pronounce that name. Who, Kayan, potentially? Well, he's a billionaire. But what good is it being a billionaire if you're under house arrest by President Xi? Uh, he is being monitored at a designated location. Adds to questions over the company's fate as restructuring falters. I would put that, uh, that's putting it lightly, as they say. The billionaire chairman of the beleaguered property developer Evergrande Group, China Evergrande Group, placed under police control. Yeah, taken away by Chinese police earlier this month, being monitored at a, at a designated location. Uh, it's not clear why he's under residential surveillance. And that is a type of police action that, quote unquote, falls short of formal detention. So he hasn't even been formally detained yet. Uh, unable to leave the location, meet or communicate with others without approval based on China's criminal procedural law. Not quite the same as our Constitution, thank God. Passports and identification cards must be handed to police, but the process shouldn't exceed six months. That's ah, only six months, right? Pretty remarkable how they operate, man. Be careful. Uh, just remarkable that you reach that type of wealth and that somehow you don't jump ship. But maybe, you know, easier said than done, obviously. Um, and you don't get to be at that level in China without being ingrained in politics and business, okay? But boy, it's pretty surprising. All these guys, they rise up. And then what happens? China smacks them down, man. And they're especially going to smack them down uh, with what's going on in the real estate market there. Yeah, I mean, what was he up to? Was he up to like $40 billion or something like that? It was a mammoth number when they were peaking out in 2017. Um, one of the most politically connected businessmen in China with ambitions ranging from electric cars to soccer. And uh, yeah, now he's one of the most high prof profile casualties of President Xi and the crackdown on excessive leverage and speculation in the real estate sector. Um, not sure where this one ends for China, man. Yeah, look at this. It was. He was worth over $40 billion. I thought that was a number in 2017. He's now worth $1.8 billion. Evergrande has $327 billion in liabilities. Yeah, that'll get the government going, man. Uh, they're not in the business of having companies falter to that degree because that creates a political headlight, uh, headache for Xi over there. $42 billion to $1.8 And now he's on lockdown. Yeah, he was connected, man. Doesn't matter how connected you are. There's only one G over there. Stay tuned, folks. We're coming back. Talking to our man Kevin Hinks from Fast Market from the Schwab Network. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're going to chart a Costco up here. Costco off a bit on their earnings last night. Decent earnings, but didn't quite live up to expectations. You got Costco trading at about 10 bucks. Boy, you take a look at this thing longer term, though, holding up relatively well. All things considered, you come into COVID at about 370, spike up to 612. You're sitting at 550 um, for Costco. And how about Walmart, right? You talk about strength, man. This Walmart chart. Quite the sell-off in the middle of 2022, man. From 160 down to 117, you get it all back and then some with Walmart pushing all-time highs at 162.50. And we're going to jump to a little bit of mortgages. We were talking mortgages yesterday just in terms of comparing the interest rates you got, man. You talk about some numbers now. But before we do, folks, you know what? We're going to jump over to our man Kevin Hicks from the Schwab Network Fast Market every trading day, folks, right here at 12 noon Eastern time. Kevin Hicks, Tom White. The outstanding team at the Schwab Network with the program Fast Market aired every market day live here on Tiger TV. And uh, let's just jump into it. Kevin Hinks, we got the 10 year sitting at about 4.5%. We got dollar strength yet again. And we got green on the board right now in the markets. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Tommy. Yeah, uh, stocks taking a little bit of a of relief from lower yields to start the day. Yesterday was a little bit concerning with the overall market, Tommy. I think that, you know, investors are trying to figure out where do you go if bonds are going down as fast as stocks? And the, the answer seems to be, at least for right now, the dollar up until now. Now, bonds are higher this morning as yields got over 4.5%. So we'll see what that does for stocks this morning. But, uh, you know, after a market that bought the dip on Monday did not buy the dip on Tuesday, at least we're starting the day positive, Tommy. Yeah, we had some tigers and tigresses in the tigers den looking for a potential uh, short covering rally yesterday. And maybe you got one in the last few minutes of the day. But boy, but beyond that, it was 60 points almost straight down throughout the market day. A little bit of a reprieve today. We're sitting at 43.32 right now. And you mentioned it, Kevin, the dollar index, taking a look at it. You mentioned maybe that's a little bit of a haven. Interesting, when I look at the 10-year, Kevin, right? I go back to last Wednesday night, so following Chairman Powell all the way to kind of Wednesday evening, you had the dollar almost where we're at right now. Uh, excuse me. You had the 10-year almost where we're at right now, about 4.5%. We had lower price, higher yield. And you have the dollar index a full point higher. So even as yields have stayed where they kind of were as of Wednesday, that dollar just keep march keeps marching higher. 
I know we've seen that happen. You've seen it happen. What do you think of the impact on the markets, Kevin? Because it's tough sometimes on a higher dollar. It's been quite a run we've had, and the markets have seen that you know, impact it. But is that something that you're watching? If the dollar continues higher, how do you think that's going to play into maybe equities? Is that going to be a headache for equities if we keep getting that dollar strength in the market right now? Well, we always watch the U.S. dollar here because it affects so many things. It affects U.S. multinationals, it affects commodities, it affects, you, you, you've seen its effect on gold. Um, there's a, you know, and conversely, uh, look at the euro, the weakness in the euro down from, you know, 113 not very long ago, all the way down to 1.05 now. So wow. that euro dollar relationship has really gone, made a dramatic move here. And like I said, it looks like the dollar is being used as a risk-off asset when you you can't trust bonds to, uh, to as a risk-off asset anymore. So yeah, there's a lot going on here, Tommy, with that relationship. But the dollar affects everything, right? You always should be watching the U.S. dollar, Tommy. And yeah. you know the, the the data this morning didn't really scare anybody. Uh, the durable goods number was relatively calm after a couple months of volatility. There, crude oil is its own. Massive microeconomic issue now up over two two and a quarter percent today. Why? Cushing, Oklahoma. For your guests and your listeners, County Cushing, Oklahoma, the the inventories there are now below twenty two million barrels, Tommy, from a capacity of ninety eight million barrels. So, uh, crude oil, frankly, in my opinion, if the, those stay like that, it has a hundred dollars written all over it, Tommy. Yeah, pretty interesting, man. I had crude up on the Thinkorswim platform as you were talking about it. Boy, it's been quite a year for crude, man, from $67 and change right around that number, pushing uh, highs right now at $92.40, the price of crude. Uh, I want to jump on mortgage rates real quick, Kevin. Mortgage demand out there this morning and the interest rate. How about it? You're talking about 7.41% on a mortgage rate. The home builders have held up relatively well. Um, what do you think about that type of mortgage rate, man, when we all know yields are reverberating in terms of what your signature is worth? Excuse me, but we're at some pretty yeah. lofty yields right now and 7.4 for a 30-year. What's your take on that, man? Yeah, that, that's going to definitely affect refinances, right, of, of markets as so many people have rates so much lower than this. But new home sales, they've remained pretty strong, even with higher rates. Now, I do expect when rates spike like this, that you, you get a pause, right? But people get uncomfortable, Tommy, as you know, and then they get less uncomfortable. And so I expect when a, a pause or a queue forming when rates go higher, and then when they settle down or go lower, that, that queue of, of, of mortgage participants comes rushing back into the market, Tommy. So the fundamentals on housing are still very positive. We're still very behind in terms of housing inventory. Existing homes, that's a different story, right? Because so many people have lower rates, but new homes, still a lot of demand out there, Tommy. Yeah, I've talked about it, and I appreciate the take, man, because uh, it's interesting out here near Lakeland, Florida, Kevin. We got a development I've talked about. I think it's 1,700 houses going up next to us. Used to be a beautiful cow pasture, and uh, they just keep selling them. I don't know how they're doing it, but they just keep selling them. They build them. People are in there. They're moving in. They're building the next one right next to it, and they're selling them, man. Um, and I think it's Lennar, D.H. Horton in there um, as well, D.R. Horton um, in there as well. Um, so it's remarkable. But, yeah, 7.4. And in interesting how context matters in terms of if you said 6% mortgage to somebody a year and a half ago, they'd say you're crazy. I'd never take a 6% mortgage. You say 6% mortgage right now, man. We ever get rates back down to 6%. You're right. That might be a cue waiting um, because right now we're pushing 7.4. With that in mind, Kevin, we march forward. Do you guys have any equities coming up that you'll be talking about on Fast Market today at 12? Sure. We're, we're going to talk about uh, Micron that has earnings coming out after the bell today. We'll look at CarMax that has earnings coming out as we're getting very late in earnings season, as you know. And then we'll look at NET uh, in, in the final segment. So three good names today, two of them with earnings, Tommy. I like it, man. Kevin, I appreciate the time, as always, man, on a busy morning this time leading up to the opening bell. I know it's valuable time, man. I appreciate it. I know the listeners do as well. We look forward to the program at 12 o'clock, and we'll talk to you tomorrow, man. Have a great day, Tommy. You too. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be coming back for the opening bell. We get the S&Ps up by 16 right now. We get the NASDAQ 
up by about 45. We get the Dow up by 113. Russell up by 11. Stay tuned, folks. I'll be coming back in three minutes for that opening bell. Don't go away. stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Grandpa gonna be here? Welcome back, folks. Is Grandpa gonna be here? That's what he's asking. We got a treat. We got Tommy O'Brien in the fourth. You gonna say hi to everybody? You say hi to the camera? You say hi? Here he hi. comes. Hi, everybody. You said hi? I got your mic right there. Say hi. That's your mic. Hi. Hi. Ready? Here you're gonna be right here. Look at Where are you? There you are, mister. Hi. There you are. You see it? Say hi. Hi. So. Tommy's become a Pringles man. You tell him you're eating your Pringles. I'm telling you my Pringles. Eating your Pringles, aren't they delicious, Tommy? They're delicious. They're delicious, I know. Uh, so he's out there running around. I got Tommy today, so he wanted to. Do we have sound? Yeah, I think they got me. I think they got me. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Um, he's running around today, and you know what? He wanted to be on the program, and how can I deprive? How can I deprive you? So we're in the studio. He's working. He loves working. And he became a Pringles man on our adventure through the airport Ooh. of Majorca and Zurich. Tell them. Were we in Zurich? We're in Zurich. We're in Zurich, huh? Sure. So we were going for some airport snacks, folks. Airport snacks, huh? Airport snacks. Yeah, airport snacks, huh? Can I talk to you? Yeah, talk in the microphone. They can all hear you. What what else did we have? We had airport snacks. We were we eating French fries snacks. and and chicken. 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 And talk into yours. That's my microphone. I know Tommy wanted a microphone too, and I didn't have it ready for him just yet. Uh, he wasn't planning to come on today, but he really wanted to. So he's still in pajamas attire. What do you got? You got Triceratops? You show him? I got Triceratops. Oh, Triceratops. What does Triceratops sound like? Tell him. What's he sound like? Roar. 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 Oh, that's a good one. You showing him the roar? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, so we got markets open, folks. What's, what do we got? Do we got green? Look at all the green. You see all the green? Tell them. Green on the board. Green on the board. Green on the board, folks. And uh, yeah, so Grandpa's a Pringles man. And listen, Tommy's a Pringles man, man. Tell them, you like all the Pringles. You like the red ones. I like the red ones. You like the green ones. I like the green ones Salt and the orange ones. And the orange ones. Yeah. You like all of them. I know, huh? He's pretty healthy, all things what's considered. That um, what's that one doing there? You see Daddy's keyboard? I know. I see Daddy's keyboard. I see it. You keyboard down there. I see it. I see a keyboard in there. Yeah. Look, and there you are right there. Everyone can see your triceratops. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh, you want to see my feet down there. You want to see your feet, too? There they are. Show them your feet. There they are. You <laughs> Show them your feet. <laughs> Tell you folks, kids, they give you a new perspective on everything, man. We got more Pringles. We got more Pringles. It's a beautiful thing, huh? As my dad would say, we it's got a beautiful more thing. Pringles. We got more Pringles. Life, life is great. We got more Pringles in the world. More Pringles. Life is good, man. So we're gonna hang out. We are talking to our man Teddy Kegstad. Coming up after the break, we'll talk to Teddy. There's those feet. There's those feet. See him? 
There they are. Uh, but let's jump around and see how we're doing to kick things off, man. On a five-minute basis, markets shop around somewhat near the lows of this morning. We're sitting at 43.28. Yeah, tell them. What do you think? Should we take a look at Disney, Tommy? Let's take a look at Disney since we're doing a little bit of toddler live market analysis. What's that? My Alice. Now I have analysis, huh? Just like Grandpa. Just like Grandpa. That's right. This is what Grandpa does when he does his show, isn't it? Does he do his analysis? Does he break down the stock chart? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Take a little bite. Mm. Oh, is that good? Yeah, that was a big bite. That was a big bite. Okay. We got more Pringles. Here. We got more Pringles. Let's eat that one first, okay? We'll get you a drink after that. So market's fading a bit. We got the S&Ps up by 10. NASDAQ only up by about 36 right now. We go back to a 10-minute chart. A little bit of a sell-off as we come into the opening bell. You see it? What are we doing? What are we doing? Should we check out Netflix as well? Because we're fans check of Netflix. Check out Netflix as well. Yeah, we'll check out Netflix as well. Tell them. Check. Okay. What do you like? Do you like, do you like Netflix? Or do you like Disney? Or do you like YouTube? What's your favorite? You too. You too. I tell you, folks, we've had him. I haven't had him on the program in a while. It's been too long. Um, but there's nothing like good old YouTube, man. We're streaming our program on TFNN right now on YouTube. Uh, everybody loves YouTube. And how well has this thing held up, right? You're pushing highs in one. You want another Pringle? Okay. Pringle. There you go. I know, huh? So Tommy's a hungry man. He's uh, he's recently stopped drinking. Bottles, which uh, just were occasionally, maybe at night or something like that. And kids, they'll persist mm. sometimes, not a big deal. Uh, but boy, ever since that stopped, um, he is a hungry man. We had pool day at Grandpa's on Sunday. Were we at Grandpa's? Did we go to the pool? We go to the pool. Were you, we're at Grandpa's. Were you swimming? I'm swimming. Swimming with Grandpa? I'm swimming with Grandpa. Oh, I know, huh? Was that fun? I know. He's a little fish. Uh, swimming with grandpa but yeah there's nothing like it man in terms of just the ever persisting theme in this household and many that youtube i mean i almost talk about sometimes that youtube is like the new um basically basic television it's free it's ad sponsored everybody can get it it's basically the main network's prime time in terms of talking about abc nbc cbs right set top you can get them free if you want any time they're sponsored by advertising, and YouTube has basically commandeered that entire area. Now, brief segue, though, okay? What we've started watching, hold on, I'm going to tell them about Roku, Tommy. Yeah. Have we been watching Jurassic World? I've been watching the Jurassic World. Oh, what kind of dinosaurs do they have in Jurassic World? What kind? They have a T Rex? Oh, Plesiosaurus. What about Dominus Rex? Dominus Rex and oh, T-Rex. And T-Rex. So we've been watching some of the Roku channel, which is actually ad-supported free as well. Yeah, but we're kind of talking to our man Teddy Kegstat, and we're talking you options when we come back, folks. Well, at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. 
Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer. But the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yeah, welcome back, folks. We got the dollar index rocking higher right now. Great day to talk to our man Teddy Kegstad. Market. We're gonna go Teddy Bucky. We're gonna talk to Teddy. We're gonna talk to Daddy. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's jump over to our man Teddy Kegstad. You can check out Teddy's Tiger We're Forex report every Monday. And We're today we got a webinar. Teddy. And Teddy, it's gonna We're be an adventure, course. man, because we got Tommy We're the Fourth fireworks. joining us. I know. Hi, Tommy. Hi, little Did T. Did you see fireworks? Did you see the fireworks? I know. Did you say hi to Teddy? Say hi, Teddy. There you go. Hi, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, so, Teddy, we're going to kick it off, man. You got a great webinar Teddy, coming up tonight. Tommy, what are we going to say? Are they going to have to sign up? Say, go sign up for the webinar. Go sign up for the webinar. I know. We <laughs> got to do it. That's right. You tell them, folks. Uh, Tommy. Uh, so, Teddy, let's kick it off, man. You have the webinar coming up tonight, capitalizing on time with calendar stock option spreads. If you could give the viewers a brief preview of what you'll be talking about tonight, man. Well, we're going to be talking about that particular strategy, strategy which is uh, <clears throat> calendar spreads. So, on calendar spreads can be used in equities. You can use it on ETFs, on stock indexes as well. You know, so it's something that's a very versatile uh, option strategy. It's also very simple to implement. Um, it's not something that you have to be a very experienced option trader to use or understand how to uh, put on. So it's very definable as far as your risk, um, also very definable as far as your uh, potential uh, profits as well. You know, And it's a way of also trading the market where um, direction is important, but it's not necessarily the whole thing that you have to worry about unless it goes really extreme against you. I mean, obviously, markets will go in the directions that they will. So, But uh, calendar spreads is a really good way of taking use of time time you know like there's all kinds of ways of trading options and people get really scared when you start to mention the Greeks you know so time is a factor of option pricing and calendar spreads take advantage of that uh, particular variable so when you're using calendar spreads you're trading closer month options and also uh, further out options so you have two legs to the spread and the, and the main focus is on time <clears throat> more than di direction so it's a very interesting easy strategy to uh, implement and I will show how you figure out the setups where you use the broad market to give you an idea of direction and as far as what side you want to be on and then how you when to take the trade whether it's a good option trade to put on or what sometimes you know just because you have a strategy doesn't mean you put it on so we'll be going over highlighting that as far as how you enter lay out your risk and also your objectives and when you enter those Teddy is that something and I know you're gonna dive into it for an hour tonight so you don't have to give it all away right now but is that and I know it's two different time frames is it something that you you can can you sell the closer leg and buy the longer leg and do it vice versa or is it usually one way or the other because I know you roll 
the shorter term option as well occasionally, right? So does that go both ways or is that Correct. usually one way or the other? Well, you're always short the front month and okay. long the further months because that's what nice. you're, you're trying to make money off of time decay. So cool. that, obviously both options will decay, but the further out month decays at a shorter rate. So that's where your, your money is based off of time. If the direction, like if the mar if, it, if the market's flat, this is a flat to direction trade. If it stays flat, you're making money on time. If it goes your direction, then you're making time plus direction. Okay. So there's two factors involved with that. Obviously, if it goes the wrong way, then you're losing on both. And times the only times the only thing you'll make when it, when the market goes the opposite way. So it also pads your loss. So because you already when you enter the trade, you know what your defined risk is. The, the worst thing that can happen is you you, you actually pull back a little bit of money if it goes the opposite way and you actually get some of your money back so you lose less than when you enter the trade you know so and as far as rolling them that's for instance like one of the situations you use is like a head and shoulder or when you have like in a wave pattern where you're trying to trade the two and the four wave where you're going to trade back into the trend that's where you would roll because if all of a sudden you're starting to catch that move you know because the shorter month expir expiration month as you come into that and that expires then you would flip the, the other one so then you would all sell out the uh the one that you were long to go short and you'd buy out a further month to keep the trade on if you were trading that trend or that or that chart pattern like for instance like a head and shoulders pattern where you're looking for a big market correction or a big you know rally or something like that i appreciate it man i know you're gonna have a lot to talk about and um yeah it's always interesting myself in terms of how things can change in that spread you're going to be talking about because i love you know it's very simple for me to understand, you know, a call spread or a credit call spread, a, a debit call spread. But what I look forward to tonight so much is just how things can actually change because you have a shorter term duration, you have a longer term duration, and then you can manage that sometimes throughout that month. Correct. I look forward to it. I know we got some people signed up, so it should be a good crowd out there. Folks, 4 o'clock tonight, check out Teddy's webinar right on the front page of TFNN. Tommy, should they go sign up for the webinar? Tell them. Go sign up for the webinar. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Uh, all right. Let's jump into uh, some of the market action, man. What do you think about this dollar index? Well, you know what? I think right now what you have going on is market cycle 101 going on. And one of the things the currencies are great for is they confirm when yields are driving the markets. You know, and if you picture equities, gold and interest rates, those are the three major markets that control everything ultimately. But if you picture them going like in a sine wave, they're going up, they're going down, and this is how they go all the time, okay? But they don't go in tandem. And typically gold leads the, the stock market and yields lead the other ones. Now, when gold is going down and equities start to go down, that means yields are going up. It's always how that relationship goes in the in the trend basis and vice versa if you're going um, down in yields and then up in the up in gold and up in equities. So that's where we're at in the market cycle right now. And it's showing that I mean, the dollar made a multi year, a multi um, <clears throat> month high. It's the high of the year right now is where we're on. Actually, you know, the dollar has been going up now for what is it? Seven, eight, nine weeks straight without having even remotely a, a only slightly higher week. You know, so there's a lot of strength and that's because of the yields. You know, we've been talking about this for months that yields were the market yields were trading at a discount you know so I mean they needed to be higher I mean we're now finally the Treasury bonds and the 10-year notes are trading where they were a year ago when we had it before we had a bunch of hikes and we know that there's still a half a, upwards of a half a point in the market consensus coming up over the next few meetings you know going ending the, going into the end of the year and the first quarter of next year so right now yields are on that terror they're trying to find their equilibrium to their, they're coming to fair value is what it is and once they hit that fair value point that's when we should see a correction you know so i'd be very careful like today the bonds and the tenure are up a little bit so yields are coming back that's a profit taking move i'd be very cautious the trend right now is still a bear for bonds it's a bear for gold and it's a bear for um for equities you know so this also means it's a bull for the dollar you know and as a whole the dollar is crushing what the euro the pound the Swiss actually is, is making incredible highs. And also we have the yen. But then when you look at the Australian and New Zealand dollar, now they're so beaten up, they're in a range trade, you know. And then the U.S. dollar Canada, ironically, where we're having such strength in the dollar, it's faltering. It's it's coming off of a swing low, but it's having a really hard time rallying, you know. So I think we're going to get into that digestion phase 
but I'd be very cautious over the next couple of sessions because um, we're, we, I don't think we've found quite the bottom in yield, and uh, the bonds are high in yields yet. And that's going to drive gold lower, S&Ps lower, at least in the short run, I think. Yeah, and just the move when I was talking to you, man, the tenure, even since I came on the air at 9 o'clock, um, we just traded down six, seven basis points. So chopping around a bit, but boy, those moves pretty quick. Well, I appreciate it, man. I look forward to the webinar tonight. Folks, right on the front page of TFNN. I got it right up here. Capitalizing on time with calendar stock option spreads with Teddy. You just heard a brief part of the conversation, man. We got plenty to talk about. I look forward to it today, Teddy. Uh, myself, look forward to quite an education. All right, we're going to say goodbye to Teddy. Goodbye, Teddy. Say see Bye, you tonight. Tommy. <laughs> see you tonight. Awesome, man. Okay. Teddy, we'll see you at 4 o'clock, man. Thanks, Tommy. Take care. Thanks. Check it out on the front page, folks. We'll be right back to finish up the program. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, I know we're jumping around during that interview, but boy, it's going to be serious stuff tonight with Teddy at four o'clock, folks. Check out the front page of TFNN, capitalizing on time with calendar stock option spreads. I trade options. 
Hooray! We did. I trade options all the time myself, and this is one strategy. I look forward to the education Teddy's going to provide. Don't miss it. It's $97. It's a one-time payment. You can check it out on the front page of TFNN, uh, and that kicks off right at 4 o'clock. And don't wait till the last second, folks, because we got to tag you in the Tiger's Den. we got to get you in the den. It only takes a few minutes, but if you all sign up right at 4 o'clock, it'll be a few minutes to get you in there. So sign up now. We'll get you in the room. You'll be ready to go right at 4 o'clock, and it will be archived if you cannot oh, attend live. And Tommy's a Pringles man. We're keeping him happy. He's a happy camper. Are they? Wait, are they going to go sign up? Tell him to sign up for Teddy's webinar. Tell him to sign up for Teddy's webinar. That's right. Tell him to sign up for Teddy's webinar, right. Tommy, Teddy's webinar tonight. That's right, Tommy. Uh, jumping around a bit. This is Jurassic World uh, from 2015. That is where the Indominus Rex appeared for the first time. That is a created dinosaur, not an actual dinosaur, created dinosaur, a lab dinosaur that was created as part of the Jurassic World experience. There's the Indominus Rex if you're looking at it. Who's going to get him, Tommy? Oh, it's the Mosasaurus. Oh, he's got him. Now, I bring this up, folks, okay, because we're talking about YouTube, and I found our household, okay, watches this movie in particular on the Roku channel. I subscribe to everything, okay? We got uh, corded cable, okay? We're still on the... Oh, we got a free. They got him, Tommy. We bought the... And we there's the T-Rex. We got everything, and meanwhile, I look this up, and where do we watch this? We watch it on the Roku channel. It's completely free. They serve us ads, which nobody appreciates. But I found myself saying, how remarkable, right? Of all the things I pay for, Netflix, HBO, uh, Prime, it just keeps going. What are we watching? We're watching the Roku channel, and we're paying Roku for ads. So I'm going to start looking at Roku again as we're watching more of it. Uh, this, just one example of the programs we're watching. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. We got Markets Positive by 10. Tommy, are we going to say goodbye to everybody? We're signing off. There we go. Ready? Say bye, everybody. Say bye. Got to wait. You see here in the TV. Say bye. We're on the show. Bye. It's the end. Bye, everybody. Bye. It's the end. Bye. Check out the